How's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today I just did a chatty get ready with me. Very chatty, very rambly. But the main focus of this video was to play with the Feral palette from Menagerie Cosmetics again because I officially got the two new shades. So I have the revamped version of this palette now with the two new shades, this teal and this duochrome goodness. So I created this look featuring those two shades and I just went ahead and did my whole full face just to kind of show you guys what I've been using. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Let's just get into the video. Hot, 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 it's still very hot. I already did my brows, obviously, and I primed my face with the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm before I dropped Zane off at work, and now I'm back. Let's get into foundation. Lately, I've been using the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. I loved this for a very long time, and then I just kind of stopped using it, and... I'm just kind of back on it again. This is in the shade Fair, and my pump is kind of broken. It doesn't, normally you can kind of pump into this and then it comes out like a dropper, but mine's broken, so I just have to kind of wiggle it out. And then I just dab it all over my face, which is obviously not sanitary, but it's only used for me, so I don't care very much. What are you guys up to? How's life? How's the new year going so far? Today I'm working. I go to work in, I'll probably leave in about an hour and a half which gives me just enough time to film this video and get changed and things like that. And I think that's all I have planned for today. I think I'm just working. We might drive down to Orlando this weekend. We haven't, well, we know we're going to Orlando this weekend. All this month, Downtown Disney, or I think it's called Disney Springs now, is having a Kingdom Hearts thing because of the new game coming out. And we want to go see that because we love Kingdom Hearts very, very much. Really quick, this is my Makeup Revolution Concealer. I love this. I'm still so bitter that I didn't include this in my yearly favorites because it's such a favorite. We think we're for sure doing that Sunday, but we're trying to decide if we want to go up Saturday evening because one of our favorite bands, I See Stars, is playing. They're doing an acoustic show, so it would be really cool to see them, and the tickets are super cheap, like $15. But we just have to decide if we want to pay for a cheap Airbnb or something, or if we just want to go Sunday. Not that you care about my dilemma. I'm taking my wonderful Milk Makeup Baked Bronzing Stick. I love this so much. I think it's so good. I wasn't planning on making like a statement about it or anything because it's not that big of a deal, but a lot of you guys keep messaging me and tagging me in pictures of things that they think I'd be interested in, which I love and appreciate. Please don't ever stop doing that. But I'm kind of monitoring my spending a lot this year, not specifically on makeup. I'm not going on a low buy in that kind of a sense like a lot of people are doing this year, but I am going on kind of a life low buy. <laughs> Just because I have a lot of stuff I have to pay for since Zane and I are getting married. We're getting married next May and I really want to cut my student loans down by as much as possible. I'd love to get that bill cleared off this year. I don't know if that'll happen because I technically still have like three or four years left on it. So I'd have to save a lot of money to pay it all off this year. And I have a lovely wisdom tooth coming in and I don't have insurance. So that's going to be... A heck of an expense so I won't be buying a ton of new makeup at least as of right now in this moment like I think right now is the first time in a very long time that I don't have a package coming in the mail which is very odd really quick I'm setting my face with the cover of X translucent powder of course I've been using my color pop but I'm totally out of it I ran through it yesterday and I'm sad about it and I don't remember if I like this cover FX powder or not actually I haven't used it in a long time Something's telling me that if I haven't really been using it, it probably means I didn't like it very much, but it's here and I'm gonna use it. Plus, I'm kind of excited to not spend a ton of money on new makeup, at least for the moment, just because there's so many things in my collection that I really want to give more love to. And I honestly have so much makeup. I really don't need new things. I'm still gonna buy some things, like the new Jeffree Star palette that he's working on. I'm gonna get, I want to get his concealers. I think he's coming out with a primer or a setting spray or something like that as well. I'm gonna get all that stuff because I really want to try it. I really want more of the Menagerie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna get the new strobe palette. I'm gonna get the new Menagerie Cosmetics palette. There's a lot of things I know I'm gonna get, 
but I'm also not going to just go crazy over random purchases. I'm just going to be more cautious on what I'm actually buying. I don't know why I stopped using this powder. It feels really nice. And it looks really nice on my skin. For bronzer, I have this deluxe sample size of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And I just, I used this a long time ago. I had a teeny tiny sample. And I don't even know where this deluxe size sample came from. But I never really dipped into it. And I don't know why, because I actually quite like this bronzer. So yeah, that's where I'm at. My main goal this year is to save money. I feel like that's like the premise of my goals this year. Save lots of money, because I have lots of big expensive things to pay for. And I can't wait to see where YouTube goes for me this year. I feel like last year I had m so much more growth than I could have imagined. I started last year off with just about 200 subscribers and I ended it with almost 2,500 subscribers. I didn't even think I was gonna make it to 1,000 last year, which is insane that that many people watch me. I'm very aware that you guys are all people. It's not just numbers and that just blows my mind. So I'm excited to see what happens this year. For blush, I can't put down this Beauty Bakery Cotton Candy Champagne palette. It's so cute and pretty. I just really, really enjoy this. And I think I'm gonna dip into this shade today, which is No Champagne, No Gain. I think that's gonna go really nicely with the eye look that I have in mind. So I'm just gonna pop some of this on my cheeks. These are very glowy blushes and I absolutely adore it. But a lot of these products that I'm using are just products I haven't touched in a long time. I mean, some of them are new, like this is brand new to me. I got this in New York. But a lot of it, like that powder and the foundation, they're things that I've had for a while in the bronzer. And it was kind of fun to kind of dig through my stuff and pick things I haven't used in a while. Cause then I just kind of rediscover my like for things. And I don't know, it's fun. And I feel like this wave of people going on low buys and things like that this year are just making it easier on me to not feel so compelled to buy everything. Because sometimes the anti-consumerism part of me really shows through and I just get really angry at the fact that I feel the need to buy everything makeup wise. This is the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Balm. I'm just been applying this with my beauty sponge. I've been, I've been applying pretty much all of my highlights with my beauty sponge. I just think it looks so nice. Like it's totally okay to buy things, however, I don't feel like we need to feel like we need to buy absolutely everything because that's just ridiculous. Because who needs all that stuff? I don't think I ever... I used to so bad before I started my YouTube channel and stuff. I wanted so bad to have like the typical beauty guru's makeup collection. That was the dream. That was everything I wanted. I wanted just all the makeup in the world. More makeup that I could even think about using. And now the idea of that stresses me out. I can't imagine having that much makeup. And I already have a lot of makeup, but I can't imagine having that much. So I'm just gonna work really hard on using things that I have, only repurchasing things if I really need them. Like I bought a couple backups for things just because I feel like the beauty community, at least, I don't know if it still makes you feel that way, but it definitely used to make me feel that way, that I needed to always have backups of things. And I think that's ridiculous because now, not only do I need to finish a product, I also have to finish that backup, and it already takes a long time to finish up a product. It's one thing if it's something you use a lot, like concealer that I go through once every four to six weeks, yeah, it's probably not a bad idea to just have one backup because then you don't have to go without it. But I had a backup for a bronzer, I had a backup for a full-size foundation that I wasn't even using every day, I just liked it a lot. It's just ridiculous. So. I'm excited to just kind of use things that I have. I want to do lots of declutter videos this year on specific parts of my makeup collection. I know I have a lot of lipsticks I could go through. I have a lot of loose shadows. Let me know if you want to see a video on my loose eyeshadow collection and declutter because I have a lot that I should go through. Blushes, I really need to declutter those. I just have a lot to do. So let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that kind of stuff and things like that. I don't know. I don't know if I would ever do shop my stash videos just because I personally don't think that you guys would care to watch it. I don't know why. I just don't think I'd be able to make it interesting, but I can try to do almost like a get ready with me once a month and that will kind of show you the products that I'm trying to use this month. I don't know. Again, I'm not trying to do Project Pan. I'm not trying to be like on a strict low buy. I don't have rules or anything. I'm just trying to be conscientious of what I'm using. That was a very long-winded explanation. I just don't... I don't want you guys thinking I'm just on a low buy because I'm not on a low buy. I'm going to buy things if I want them. I'm just trying to be careful, okay? 
All right, I'm going on in with my Smashbox lid primer because it's my favorite forever and always. I'm going to start with Ivy, that really dark green, and I'm just taking this on a small little elf blending brush. And I'm just gonna heavily pack this on the outer corner. And then as I have less product on the brush, I will take it through the crease as well. Should we talk about my wedding plans a little bit? I'm getting married on May 15th, 2020. It's on a Friday. We picked that month because originally I wanted February, March, but then we realized Zane's sister would have a much easier time if we did it when she's out of school because she lives all the way in Alabama. So, and I, I don't really care. I'm not a bridezilla or anything like that. I don't have like a fantasy date. It was just kind of a range of months that I picked. So May's cool and that's actually the same month that my parents have their wedding anniversary and that's the same day his parents have their wedding anniversary. They're the ones that actually suggested we get married on the same day as them and I thought it was a cute idea and we're really close with them so that's what we decided to do and I'm really excited. I already have a dress. Very shocked that I found a dress so fast because I have so much time, but I absolutely love it. We were just going to go shopping to just kind of get an idea of what I liked and didn't like. I went with Zane's mom and dad and Zane. We're not traditional. I don't care if he sees the dress. He's not seeing me all done up, so it doesn't really matter. And by the time the wedding rolls around, he's not going to have a clear image of what the dress even looked like anymore. And I also, I like his opinion, you know? We do everything together. Oh, I'm taking this Harmonia shade, the new Harmonia, that pretty teal. And I'm just blending this right above these greens. But we were just going simply just to see what I liked and didn't like. And I ended up finding the best dress. Everybody loved it. And I got it on sale for $99. And I liked the dress before I even knew it was on sale. I don't even know why it was on sale. The girl didn't even know why it was on sale because she said it was a really popular style. But it's a win for me. And it already fits really well. I know I'm gonna have to get it altered throughout the next year and a half because our bodies change so much and I'm hoping to get really fit this year. That's my other goal. I want to finish losing the weight that I started to lose in 2017. I lost, I guess you guys wouldn't know because I didn't really start my channel until halfway through that, but I lost like 30 pounds in 2017 and I did a pretty good job keeping it off last year. I might've gained like three pounds or something, but I kept it off and I wasn't even trying that hard. I'm going in now with Night Eyes, the pretty yellow. Anyways, I'm so rambly this morning. I don't know why. Probably just because I haven't done just a chatty video like this, just talking about my life in a while. But yeah, I didn't really have to try that hard to keep the weight off because I lost it very slowly, intentionally, because I wanted it to be easy for me to keep up with. But that doesn't really matter right now. This is blending so pretty. It's going to like almost a lime green where it meets. So cute. I'm so happy that Menagerie Cosmetics did this. I mean, obviously you saw my videos playing with the original Feral Palette. I never really had complaints. Like yeah, the top shades were kind of similar and not exciting. But you know, I still loved the palette and I felt like the, the two rows of really pretty colors made up for it. It was fine. I didn't mind at all. But the fact that so many people had something to say about it and they decided to actually do something about it says so much about that company. I think they are so great. I can't wait to see what else they have to offer as they keep releasing more things. I'm going to take my ColourPop concealer and pop some on my lid and look up so I can see where to cut the crease. And now I'm gonna cut the crease. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it right about where these shades really begin to deepen in this outer corner. And I'm gonna take Wolfling. I'm honestly so excited about this shade. It just has such a pretty pink duochrome to it. Mm, I'm loving it. This is just gonna go everywhere that I cut the crease. I feel like this is the wrong brush. It's looking fine, but I feel like I want a more dense brush for this. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's so pretty. Getting a little bit of fallout, but I don't, it's not a deal breaker for me or anything. I'm the one that's heavily packing this shade down. I think for my inner corner, I'm gonna start by just popping the yellow in my inner corner and see what that looks like. And then I might top it off with my Diamond Bomb highlight just to add some sparkle. 
but I do love a nice yellow inner corner. It's my favorite thing ever. I am going to go in with my Fenty Beauty highlight just to pop over the top, just to add some extra sparkle because I can always use more sparkle in my life. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, put on my lashes, something on my lips, and then we'll wrap this video up. So this is the final look. I really hope you like it. I went with my Flutter Lashes selfie lashes. I just thought just the long, dainty lashes would fit this look nicely because I didn't want to cover up anything on the lid. I think it's just so pretty. And then on my lips, I also went with the Menagerie Cosmetics product. I picked their liquid lipstick in Gator, and I just kind of pat the dope Lime Crime Diamond Crusher on top to give it a nice glow. I just wanted to kind of mimic the green with the rose goldy glow that I have on my eyes, on my lips, and I really like how it came out. I'm really happy with these two new shades in the palette. I think it really helps complete this palette. It made it so much better. I love it so much. I'm so happy Menagerie Cosmetics decided to make this decision. And in case anyone's wondering, I don't know if anyone would wonder this, but I just used my tweezers to pluck the other shades out and then I pop these ones in. I still have the other two shades. I just stuck them in a magnetic palette with some Makeup Geek shadows, and that's, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say about the palette. If you like this look, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know I rambled a lot, I chatted a lot. It was it was fun for me to chat to you. Thank you for listening. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beat Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Let me know videos you want to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Okay, bye.